really a bubble screen, a little drop off. And I want to watch you watch this player right here coming out of the backfield. And this is the player that's going to commit the foul on this play. But I want to look at a couple of screenshots here. First, I want to talk about what is the line judge looking at? He's at the bottom of the screen here. And I've really got three focal points for him. He's looking at the, the ball carrier, make sure he catches the ball, make sure the, the ball comes in without skipping or anything. But he's also got to watch this player coming out of the backfield. And he's got to watch the line of scrimmage because it's critically important to know for a potential downfield foul, whether the ball's thrown behind or beyond the line of scrimmage. And for the line judge that's opening up right to him, he's the one that's got to make that call. So it's really important that he has that focus. And as this play develops, the line judge has to get off of the ball and work on the other 21 or this block right here in front of the ball carrier. Now, what's the back judge looking at? This next shot shows the back judge here with this player at about the 40 or about the 36 yard line or circle here. And the referee should also be looking through at this block where we have the potential hole. Important for the umpire not to look out onto the ball, but to work the back side of this play with this big bunch of players right here. We could easily have an offensive lineman dive down below the legs of a the defender there coming off the line of scrimmage to pursue this ball carrier because the ball was thrown behind the line of scrimmage. So it's a perfect place for a clip or a block in the back. So really, really important here, the umpire continue to focus on the back side of the play. And the, the headlinesman, this is an interesting mechanic, something I picked up several years ago. On these plays, you have a tendency to want to look upfield and track forward progress and work the back side of the play as well, <coughs> which is great mechanic. But before you do that, the referee's looking through at this block out ahead. What I want you to do is take a sneak peek at the <coughs> line and then wait until he gets in the clear because we don't want to see a defender come in and take a cheap shot, especially at the head of the quarterback or dive at his legs after the ball's gone out. The referee's already begun to work up the field the blocks ahead of the play. We could have a cheap shot on the quarterback. you got a real good shot of picking that kind of stuff up. And let me tell you something, as a headlinesman, if you get those kind of plays that are back behind the play where everybody's already gone up the field, you pick up a cheap shot by a defender on a quarterback, boy, that's a huge attaboy. Big attaboy for you if you can do that. Now, once you've cleaned up the quarterback play, what you want to do is work the backside, get up the field, and cross field mechanics. That's an important part, because this run could come to the outside and blow up on the line judge of sideline. In that case, if he goes backwards, we're going to want you to have that forward progress spot. We'll talk more about that later in the uh, training videos later in the year. Forward progress, cross field mechanics, really, really important. But now let's go back to this. Again, focus on this running back coming out of the backfield. And you see he just wraps up here and makes a tackle. Great technique, great form. Defensive coaches would be proud. Wrong side of the ball. This is a takedown by an offensive backfield player. Should have been picked up by the, either the line judge or the referee. Great time to have two flags on that, if they're both looking at the correct thing. This is clearly an offensive hold. Happens at the point of attack. Good pickup by this crew. That is it for this week one training video. Now you got to get out there and work some games. Some of you working Monday, Tuesday. The rest of you, I hope you're working Thursday and Friday. Uh, one thing I want to leave you with, though, is a really, really important that we get more experienced officials involved in Thursday night football. That's a great time to train new officials, and uh, we need to do a better job of doing that. Uh, it's incumbent upon all of us who have 